Last time we killed all our worms by accident because our bin was too big, too wet, too acidic, whatever. So we're starting again. This was the tray that we used to catch the liquid. Um, and it's a good size because it's more long than it is tall. I am attempting to drill a mesh uh, of holes in there so that um, it has better drainage. Okay, I finally finished drilling all the holes in here. So now this is super ventilated. I went outside and I found this tray thing. So that's going to hold this. And I just gave it a couple things to sit on so that it could drain down into here. And this is just a scrap thing that I found. And I also found something a little more breathable for the top, a thin piece of wood. And I'll probably drill some holes into that too, but that'll just go on top. This was just stuff that I found in the yard mostly, but you could use um, like a cookie tray or some other kind of tray and anything that can kind of prop it up so it's not just sitting in there. So if you remember from the first time we made a bin, the first step is to shred some newspapers and you wet it and wring it out like a wet sponge. Not sopping wet, but just a little bit damp. Another thing that we're going to start doing now is blending our food up in this blender that we got from Goodwill. Before we were finding just putting chunks of food in took a really long time and I think the worms have a hard time eating it. So instead of just throwing our compost in whole chunks, we're going to kind of blend it up before we do it. Okay, now I have my bedding. It's kind of wet. Um, I have some stuff from the garden and some dirt just to help dry out some of my compost a little bit. Um, these are the worms in here that we actually got out of the garden. And I also found some sand down there. Um, I found that someone had some really fine beach sand, which is really good for the worm's digestion because they don't have teeth. If you use a blender, you can pulverize uh, eggshells. They use that in their gizzard to digest food. And the last layer is the dried shredded newspaper just to keep all the moisture in. Mm -hmm. 